Want to speak real Korean from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at koreanclass101.com. Hi everybody, Jay here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of the most common Korean questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I use E and ga? The subject marking particles E and ga are used to mark the subject of a sentence. These are used when the subject is being introduced for the first time. E is used if the subject ends in a consonant, and ga is used if the subject ends in a vowel. Let's do some examples so you can learn how to use the subject marking particles correctly. Let's use 여기가 제 집입니다, meaning here's my house, as an example. In this sentence, we use the subject marking particle 가 next to the noun 여기, meaning here, to mark the noun 여기 as the subject of this sentence. Let's do another example. When you meet someone for the first time, you may ask 이름이 무엇입니까? What's your name? Here, we use the subject marking particle 이 next to the noun 이름, meaning name. This is because the topic, his or her name, is being introduced for the first time. There are certain verbs that use the subject marking particles as part of a set. Some common verbs are 아니다, 있다, and 없다, which mean not, to exist, and not to exist, respectively. Generally speaking, whenever the verbs 아니다, 있다, and 없다 are used in the sentence, the sentence marking particle is used as well to mark what exists and what doesn't exist. For example, 학생이 아닙니다, meaning I'm not a student. An important thing to remember is that Korean often contains double subjects, with one being marked by the topic marker and the other marked by the subject marker. For example, 저는 학생이 아닙니다, meaning I'm not a student. It has two subjects, 저, meaning I, and 학생, meaning student. The topic of the sentence is 저, meaning I, so it uses 는, the topic marking particle. 학생, student, is the subject, so it uses the subject marking particle E. This can be translated as, as for me, I'm not a student. And that's it. I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. 다음 시간에 만나요.